Hey YouTube, it's Chris here with Almost Precision. And we're coming at you with a uh, unboxing video tonight. So first up, I have a box here from Black Rifle Depot. And I'd never heard of them before until I ordered from them. So if you've heard of them, or if you've dealt with them before, please uh, leave me a comment with your experience. I'd like to know what you think of these guys. But we're gonna find out. So here we are opening up the box with our Spyderco Shaman. And let's see what we got. All right, first up here is the uh, Black Rifle Depot Free Float Rail 12 inch. And it's ultra lightweight, has the M lock cuts in it. Real nice, real inexpensive. That's why I went with these guys, the inexpensive handguard, really. After that, we got the uh, pistol buffer kit. And not sure why I ordered the pistol buffer kit. I think the uh, complete lower parts kit was cheaper to get the pistol one than the rifle one. But the 2545 build is definitely going to be a rifle, so I'll probably end up using a, uh, a spare palmetto buffer tube that I have. But, oh, yep. Moving on, there's the lower parts kit from them and the uh, obligatory sticker, Black Rifle Depot. Let's see what else we got in the box here. Ooh, got to be careful with this one. It is the gas tube. Carbine length. And then I cheated on this one. It's an assembled AR-15 upper. I really didn't feel like dealing with the uh, Ford Assist and all that, so I went ahead and ordered one that was already assembled. I'm cheating a little for a complete build here, but I'm sure you guys understand. Looks good. The finish is nice. We'll see how it all actually fits together when we get to the build. And what do we got here? Oh, they're, uh, they're Black Nitride Bull Carrier Group. M16 cut. And this is another... Uh, Black Rifle Depot brand item and I gotta say like I went with them because they were really inexpensive so we'll see how this functions um, it doesn't look like this one's been tested definitely has been fired no dirt debris gunpowder residue firing pins spotless so either they cleaned it real good or they never tested it but uh, you know we'll slap it all together and see how it functions And last but not least, we have the gas block. All right. It's a uh, little micro low profile gas block to fit into that handguard. And got to be careful here. There's a the little cotter pin. That's definitely going back in the baggie. Don't want to lose that. But yeah, looks good. Finish is nice. No tool marks or anything like that has two little set screws on the bottom to lock it onto the barrel. So we'll just seal that up. And there you have it. That's uh, the order from Black Rifle Depot. That's the majority of the parts for the build here. Literally all we're waiting on at this point is the lower receiver. And hopefully we'll get that within the next week and we can start this build. And I'll be sure to post a video of that for you guys when it comes. But this looks great. The finish is nice. No tool marks, nice and smooth. I can't wait to slap this together and try that 2545. And so one thing that really wasn't described on Black Rifle Depot's website was whether there was a barrel nut or not. So I just went with it. 
I figured they'd include one, and there was, so that was awesome. All right, next up we have a box from Mid-South Shooter Supply. And if you guys haven't heard of these guys, I've ordered from them a couple times. Uh, every now and then they pop up with free hazmat shipping. I'd definitely check them out if I were you. Although I'm not affiliated with these guys, do check them out. It's definitely worth it if you're a reloader. And right up on the top there, you see all my wads. So we're going to be doing some shot shell reloading here soon, and I'll be sure to take a video for you guys when we do get around to that. But I had to get some new wads. Next up, wrapped in some paper here. They're hiding it from me. Some 25 cal, 87 grain spear hot cores. And this really seemed to be the preferred round for the 2545. Um, all their load data is very centric around this spear hot core soft point. So hopefully we get some good data with it. Hopefully it groups well. We'll see. And of course, we couldn't do any of it without the Lee reloading dies. This is just a basic pace setter set, uh, three die set. The clip on the box kicked my butt, so I had to take it off screen before I bumped the camera. But yeah, a uh, simple pace setter set. Comes with the uh, Lee factory crimp die. The decapping sizing die, and that sucker's going to get a lot of work resizing the necks, and of course the bullet seater. So we're going to have to bell out some 5.56 brass to 25 cal. Hopefully we don't end up splitting any necks, but I mean they added this resizing lubricant, so I'm sure Lee already knows, you know, we're going to be splitting necks left and right here if we're not careful. What else we got in this box? Ordered a uh, shot shell holder that was on clearance, and uh, they hid my second box of projectiles in there. So we got 200 rounds of the spear hot cores. I mean, we're going to get some good shooting in on these. And of course, a shell to hold our, a box to hold our shot shells when we get to reloading them. And I'm really excited about this. I really want to try reloading 2545. But that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little quick video. Like I said, let me know if you've used Black Rifle Depot before. Um, check out Mid South Shooting Supply, Mid South Shooters Supply, and be sure to like and comment and tell me what you think.